Hey folks, Jim Rogers from Salvino's JR Models. Rick Salvino and I are continuing our onslaught upon uh, the styrene world to, pre to present to you more and more kits every time we get the chance. And this week, I've got the Brad Keselowski uh, John Force Tribute Livery 2023 Ford Mustang. Let me move that so you don't get the reflection. So let's take a look and see what's inside that. Keselowski 2023 Ford Mustang. That is cool. I'm going to be interested to see if those are reflective. So, yeah, Rick is going to build this himself also. I, I say also. Rick's going to build it himself. I don't get around to building our kits because, as I've said many times, I spend all week designing them. Why do I want to actually build a model kit? So here we go. Let's take a look and see what's inside. There we go. It's all white stuff this, this time. So there's your, your uh, 2023 Ford hood and, and dashboard and all the stuff. The Remember, the Fords have a slightly different uh, air, air intake uh, because they have a slightly different hood. So let's throw that over there. And there we have a, a nice white body uh, with a... I thought that was a shadow. Yep, there was a shadow because that's just the way the uh, uh, the Ford body has a little flip right there at the end. So there we go. Round, squishy things are indeed round and squishy. You've seen tires before. You don't need to me need me to open those up. But you know what? I haven't opened one of these in a while. Okay, as I've said before, always open your bag over your box just in case something fell off. And yeah, I've got a couple little little things that fell off in there. Okay, so let me move these out of the way. There's our our steering, our our uh, the lower lower uh, cage for the uh, uh, for the roll cage. That's the bottom. There's your transaxle. Your, uh, your your brakes, uh, which bumper is that? I think that's the back bumper. There's the front bumper. There's your suspension parts and a few engine parts in there. And there's uh, parts of your roll cage, your, your side doors. Um, this is the panel that goes in the driver's door inside. Here's your, your top. Um, some of your other parts that goes around your, your engine. Uh, this little thing, people have been asking, where does that go? That is part number 72. Part 72 goes down on the floor behind the driver's seat. I'm trying to look at it. Remember, since it's been a couple of years since I designed this, which is up and which is down, I don't remember which is up and down. But that goes on the floor behind the driver's seat. Okay, there's your there's your firewalls. Uh, the back firewall, really all you have to do is paint that little thing and paint the electronics box there on the front firewall. I think that gets painted black. This gets painted black uh, along with which part? This part. Those parts... Are the only other real things on here, eh, this gets red and, and that gets metal if you want it because you don't see it. But this one and this part, those are flat black because those are seen in the back window. Okay, there is the under tray. If you have problems with these, if they are warped, which is a very common problem because it's a large part and it doesn't have a lot of support, supports on it. Um, because it's a a uh, we use a different styrene than than like Tamiya does. So if you have a, a one of these that's warped, you can twist it. You can do whatever you need to do to get it back into the shape that it needs to be, and then put it on your kit. If you twist it and screw it up trying to straighten it, 
email Doug at Salvino.us and he will replace it. But really, you don't you don't need a hair dryer, you don't need hot water, you just need to tweak it. It's a thin part, it's styrene plastic, and also the other thing is once you get the roll cage completely built. You'll use this as a jig for, for assembling it, but once you get this completely built and glue it onto here, it's going to pull this back to where this is supposed to be. The only thing there left might be the tweaking of this. But you can get a lot, get away with a lot on that, that piece. Okay, so there's, uh, there's our seat, top of the seat, uh, air, air cleaner for the Chevy, um, your surround for your radiator, the wheel wells for the back, there's your radiator. That's a beautiful radiator and it gets covered up and you never see it. So there we got that. And as you see, at least one of the little parts fell off into the box so you don't lose them. Clear parts are indeed clear. Now, let's take a look at the decals. The instructions, these are, this, uh, the placemat, this is generic. It's the same on all of them. Um, so if you've built a, m more than one, you pretty much can use the same one. <laughs> Staple a couple of them to the wall. Decoupage them on your desk. Then, uh, then this sheet has the, uh, uh, the final instructions on the windows and, and stuff like that. Then there's the uh, the decal placement. There's our there's our black sheet to go. There's that that goes on the back. Those go on the side. Now let's see how that looks. Oh yes, they are metallic and reflective. You see those metallic sheets? You know you know that uh, we have paid extra to have have that metallic done on there. Um, we we do use the uh, the best decals in the business in the world. We use Cartograph to uh, to print our decals. We got a great team at PowerSlide that does our designs. In particular, Clay Kemp, uh, a master model maker, uh, model builder, and uh, so anyway, he did a beautiful job on that. Nice, nice, nice. And those reflective sixes are awesome. I can't wait to see uh, what Rick comes up with when he builds this kit. So there you go. There is the Brad Keselowski 2023 Ford Mustang in the old John Force livery. Um, that is one of our last Mustangs of, uh, of 2023, which means it's one of our last 2022-2023 style Mustang. We will be coming out with a new 2024 Mustang and a new 2024 Toyota Camry TRD. They are both changing designs on the cars, and we are not making ground-up new bodies for them. We're actually taking the body molds for this and the existing Camry, and we're going to modify those molds. So when once we modify those molds, there will not be the, the ability to produce more 23 Toyotas and Mustangs. So... If you want one for your shelf, if you want one to be able to uh, to do some other drivers, this is the time to start ordering them. Um, these are available right now on our web store. Uh, I would expect they will be shipping in a couple days, probably the first of this next week, uh, because they are there. I got mine. It takes it a little while to get from uh, Southern California to uh, Central Texas. So they are probably shipping those out pretty quick. So if you're interested in those or the Toyotas, get your orders in on, on our website. And uh, I think we might be getting a couple more possibilities of some more fo Fords if some contracts come through. So if they do, you're going to see something else, but but seriously, the 24 Fords and the 24 or 23 Fords and the 23 Camrys, they're no more because we're going to be changing those molds. So if you like them, 
you better jump. So that's it. Once again, Rick Salvino and myself really appreciate you uh, you following us, you buying our Salvino's JR Models kits, and uh, we're gearing up for a great 24. I've already done box art for uh, for some of the uh, 24 Chevys. Uh, the Mustangs and Toyotas will probably coming be coming along somewhere April, May, because I haven't redesigned those, uh, those uh, parts yet. But anyway, we'll be having those. You know, we've got the IndyCar coming out uh, probably uh, the end of March. 2024 is shaping up to be a very big year for Salvino's JR models. Looking forward to uh, presenting you with some great stuff. Looking forward to seeing some images from you guys on what you've done. And uh, once again, Rick and I thank you for, for following Salvino's JR models and building our stuff. Okay, do, 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 do.